What's up guys, welcome back to Daily Reviews. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to be looking at the Alpha Cool Ice Derm by Alpha Cool. Uh, this is a complete water cooling kit for uh, Intel and AMD. Um, and this one I've got today is the Hurricane 240, so that comes with a 240mm radiator. And that's a, like I say, a complete kit, full copper from Alpha Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you an unboxing so you can see what you get with the kit and see the kind of the quality that you're getting with this kit. Um, as you know, other companies like EK do kits like this, so you can kind of have a look at some of the videos and see what you think in terms of comparison with this kit. Um, let's first talk about price before we get into the unboxing. So this one, I believe in the UK at the moment, is around £170 for the 240 Hurricane. Now they do do a gaming version and a tornado version, and they range down from around 150 I believe up to about 250 but uh, obviously this is at the time of recording this video so uh, they are subject to change so they're not always going to be those prices but still great price for what you're getting in the box for a whole complete uh, custom loop basically um, yeah it's a really good price for this so let's get into the unboxing and you can have a look see what's in there Right, so what we're going to look at first is the Alpha Cool Ice Block XPX that comes with this system. Um, as you can probably guess, this is a uh, water block for your CPU. Let me just get a knife and unbox this. And as you can see with all of these components as we look at them, um, they are pre they're packaged in their own separate boxes, so you know you're not just getting some cheap stuff that they've thrown together for this kit. You're actually getting the proper stuff that you would buy, that you would get if you bought everything separately. So that's always good to know. So in here, obviously, we've got the the Ice Block XPX, which is here, as you can see, nice and nicely finished, nicely painted black. Um, it is a copper base plate, but I really believe it's nickel plated on there. Um, this Alpha Core symbol here will light up blue when you uh, when, you when you power it on using this connection here and inside I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but we've got an in and an out so it tells you which one you need to be using for your in and your out um, also in this box we've got all the fittings here so as I said this is for Intel and AMD um, so no matter what you've got you should be fine um, we've got AMD there so AMD bracket We've also got an Intel bracket there, so you can use them for both AM4 and the Intel sockets, and some fittings, and some little covers for the screws for when it's installed, and also you get some thermal paste to apply. Uh, with this one, it comes with a sticker on the bottom, so you need to remember to remove that if, before you use it. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. So let's move on from that one. Let's put that away. And then what we'll do next is we'll have a quick look at the radiator, again in its own packaging, this is the Nexus XT45 full copper radiator, so this is a 45mm thick radiator, um, so really good quality radiator uh, for the for saying it's included in this kit, I would, would have expected a 30mm radiator, but this is pretty good, so if I can I'm going to open this up, and we'll have a quick look in here, a little booklet for your radiator, and then the radio itself, nicely packaged in bubble wrap, so it's going to be all good to go. And that's your radiator there. You can see, nice 45 mm thick radiator, and you've got various different um, ports in here. So you, well, obviously, which ones you're going to use depends on how you want to set it up, uh, and then you can blank the rest off um, for the ones you're not using. And you've also got this port at the bottom, which will be useful for for draining the system. So that's the radiator. Put that away. And then next what we'll do is we'll look at the pump and reservoir. And this is the pump here. Uh, this is the DDC310, um, DC 12 volt pump that will attach to this reservoir, hopefully. So we'll have a quick look in here. And we'll pop this out. This are few bits of fittings and stuff here, so obviously you can install it um, onto your fan mounting points and that kind of thing. Those over there. And then the reservoir top its and top itself. Uh, let's just pop that out. 
and out of its bag. And as you see, that is the reservoir there. Um, so your pump's going to install to the bottom here. Uh, you've got an in and an out, nice and clearly marked again. And also you've got some ports on the top here to aid with filling and things like that. So that's that. Put that to one side. As I say, that's your pump there. Uh, for some reason, this one doesn't come in a box. I'm not really sure why. I'm not sure if that's normal, but mine didn't come in a box. Never mind. That way. Uh, so next, what we'll do is we'll look at the fans. Two of these fans. Might as well look at one. There's no point of unboxing both of them because they're both the same. Um, so let's get our look in here. And these are the Alpha Cool Icewind, I believe these are. Uh, as you can see, nice fin design. I believe, yes, these are powered by Be Quiet. So these are Be Quiet's silent, uh, Pure Wings, sorry, Pure Wings 2. These are Be Quiet's Pure Wings 2 fans. So you know they're going to be good quality if they're Be Quiet and hopefully be nice and quiet as well. Um, which is a lot of reasons people use water cooling to keep it quiet. So, nice quality fan, absolutely brilliant, sturdy construction, there's no problems with that whatsoever. Obviously it's not RGB, it's just a standard fan, but you could buy some RGB fans to go with this if you so wish. So we'll put that down out of the way. Uh, what should we look at next? Uh, your, oh, that's a little bag of fittings here, not fitting, sorry. So this is your jumper for your PSU and the fan splitter, so you can connect both fans into one uh, PWM port. Uh, and obviously the jumper is so you can run the pump without starting your computer. So that's handy. They've kind of thought of everything in this kit, um, so you shouldn't have an issue with um, installing it. Everything should be there for you. You should not have a problem. Uh, Right, so we look. Not sure what's in this one. Ah, so this is the so this is the bottom for the pump. Uh, comes in the same box. I'm not sure if the pump was meant to be in there originally. Maybe. Um, so you can see this it says on it here, Alpha Cool Line DDC. So that's the bottom for that, uh, and I believe that's some sort of gasket there. So we've got that as well. Pop that away, and obviously all your fittings and everything are there for that, so you can attach that. Put that in there. Next, we'll look at the fittings. See what you get with this. So you get a set of fittings: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fittings. Um, so that's not bad at all. As you can see there, the compression fittings for soft tubing, as this comes with soft tubing. Really, really good quality. Nicely machined, nicely painted. Um, so that's good. So you haven't got to worry about any fittings either. You've got all everything uh, there. Basically, like I said, everything you need is in this box. Um, so you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Uh, next one, uh, I'll tell you what we'll look at first. Is we'll look at the Alpha Tube. So this is 13, 13 slash 10 millimeters or 3 eighths and a half. Uh, and you get three meters of this, or 9.8 feet, uh, 9 feet 8 inches. Um, so it should be plenty. There's no no point in me unboxing that. It's tube basically. And then for the tube as well, if you did want to you take advantage of the uh, expandable, how, how you can expand this system, and they include this quick disconnect fitting. See how this works. So quick disconnect fitting, so you can basically attach this into your system so that when, if you do decide to extend your system to a GPU, then you can literally just quick disconnect it and you can add it into your loop in line with the rest of your loop. Um, so that's pretty good as well. Makes it nice and easy so you don't have to, te technically you don't have to drain your loop again after the, um, filling it. Uh, and then the last bit is, Get a funnel to help you refill it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then in here, as you can probably tell by the box, will be the fluid. 
that Alpha Cool provide, and this is Alpha Cool's CKC or Cape Kelvin Catcher. So this is clear fluid, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, like I said, everything's in this kit. You've got this, so you can just fill it and get going. Um, what I'm probably going to do is buy a dye for this, uh, so I'll give it a nice colour. So that's everything that's in the box. So there we have it guys, that's the Alphacool Eyestrom Hurricane 240, uh, obviously from Alphacool. Um, as you can see, everything you need is in this kit. Um, you don't need to worry about buying anything extra um, for this. Um, so you've got everything in that kit ready to go, no problems whatsoever. So this is, like I say, going to be my first introduction into water cooling. I've never done it before, so I think I've started in a good place with an all-in-one kit. So I'll be able to learn as I go and be able to pick up a few things and hopefully it will all be a success and I won't destroy my system. Um, what I am going to buy for this though, uh, the one thing you don't get is you don't get any fittings to create a drain port. So I have bought some fittings and I've got them coming and so we've got a tap so I'm going to be able to drain it so I'll show you the install installation of that when I come to build it. Like I say guys, I hope this has helped. Um, so uh, for you to decide whether to buy one or not so you can see kind of what you get and if you're interested in getting involved in water cooling um, and obviously like I say keep make sure you keep tuned because I'm going to have a build video coming up very very soon um, I've got my new case I won't tell you what it is yet because that'll be a surprise uh, and basically I'm going to build my current system into this case and I'm going to water cool it and hopefully it's going to look really good. I'm really excited to do this. So like I say, make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave any comments in the comment section below if you've got any questions about this kit and I'll try and answer them. Or if you've got any feedback for me on this video or on any of my other videos. Um, like I say, keep in touch and uh, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. See you in a bit, guys.